<laughs> this is just pure chaos. Ah, uh, this is why I love Wreckfest. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here for you guys. Another episode of Wreckfest. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we have a huge update in this game. So as many of you know, the console release happened about a week ago. And they had a lot of stuff that the PC did not have yet. And finally, we have all the stuff here. This includes new cars, I think a revamped career event, or a career mode, I should say. Uh, we have several tracks, and I think the multiplayer has changed up a bit, so I do look forward to checking that out soon. Now today, we're going to be going over some of the new cars, the new tracks, and overall having a ball here. So, fear not, multiplayer will be returning here soon, but I want to go ahead and jump into custom event here and check this out. We have two new tracks. We've got the Dirt Devil Stadium, which consists of a derby track and a speedway, which looks like a triangle. Uh, that's a kind of a weird looking speedway, but we've got that. And then we have Death Loop, which looks to be the new ultimate track here in Wreckfest. It does have a huge loop, looks like it has several intersections, and I bet you we're going to have a ball there. So we're going to go here first. First, now I am going to do some more single player. Like I said, we will do multiplayer, but I do want to redo some of the uh, old videos we did with some of the mods and maybe some ridiculous settings. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Hey, and if you're enjoying the uh, new update here in Wreckfest, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's look at the cars here. So I do have the cars unlocked. Uh, the only one we are lacking is apparently a pre order car, I believe. Uh, hopefully, we'll get that in the season pass. Uh, when we buy it here on the PC, but right now we have a big rig, which looks absolutely incredible. I wonder how fast this is. I don't know, it's got a big wing on it, so maybe it's uh, fairly fast. I don't think that always means that cars are fast, but you know what I mean. So we got that. We've got a, uh, a motor home here, which looks pretty cool. I hope the destruction is good on these. Uh, sometimes the bigger vehicles are a little hit and miss here in Wreckfest. Uh, we do have the sofa car, which... It's self-explanatory. It's a sofa. Uh, we've got the Venom, which I believe this car is a career mode car. Like, it's the last car you unlock. So I'm expecting something that's ridiculous in speed and awesome. And look at this. We have a limo. Oh, you know we're going to be doing some limo figure eights. But I think to begin with here, we are going to do the big rig. I'm going to go ahead and select the, uh, the loop track. And what I think we're going to do, let's go ahead and mix up the classes. I guess we could just do a big rig race to start with. Or, you know, I really could put them against, like, something ridiculous like a sofa car. Oh, there's so many events that we can do here. You know, let's just do a straight up big rig race. All right, we are lined up, ready to go. Oh, this looks so cool. 24 big rigs. And, oh, uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be a mess. <laughs> Oh boy, we need to upgrade one of these bad boys. Uh, one thing I am going to go ahead and say, I am using a mod on the PC to unlock these cars. Uh, because I just don't really have as much time as I would want to as far as the career mode and unlocking these that way. So there is a mod that kind of frees up the mark. And what are we doing here, folks? I don't think this track is meant at all for these cars. Wait, do we not take the loop there? Wait, is this a shortcut? I am so confused by this track. Actually, I think the AI is confused too. There's too many big rigs. That is absolute chaos. Okay, so it's lap one. Oh, really, dude? Okay. Uh, really? Oh, he just got pushed out there. No, I am stuck. Move. I've never seen a big rig flip like that. All right, so please tell me we get to hit the loop. Uh, the loop's over there. Wait, maybe the loop is optional on this track. I think it is. I think that's why the AI completely said nope to the loop. Uh, can the truck not fit? That is a good question. Hold on, let's go ahead and go over here. Dude, you better get off me. You know, it looks like they got rid of some of the really silly names for the AI. I mean, yes, you still have Willman here, but they used to have some ridiculous names that I, I used to think were like community names. Oh, and, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're going for the loop. We're going for the loop. Holy man, how does this work? <laughs> Wait, we're in second now. Wait, we're in first. So the loop is definitely a big advantage. I'm a little disappointed that the AI is not taking it, though. They seem to want to skip around and... Oh, look, there's a dead truck right there. 
Oh, let's hit the, uh... Is there an e-brake on this thing? Uh, I don't know if it actually works or not. They might have switched the controls around because what I remember the e-brake being is not the e-brake anymore. Uh, so let me fill this out a bit here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch out. Watch out, people. Oh, this is still pretty amazing, though. I'm not winning by that much either. But, yeah, I'm a little disappointed by them not taking this awesome loop here because this is pretty incredible. Do we think the sofa can make it up this? I don't know if it can or can't. Alright, I'm a little afraid. I, I somehow have a 15 second lead. That leads me to think that maybe there is like the ultimate traffic jam somewhere. Looking for it. Uh, wait, or is everybody... Wait, is everybody just dead? <laughs> we definitely need to do these in a traditional figure eight because these would be pretty cool. Alright, so here we go around. I'm taking the loop again, boys. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm going up here. Yeah, we have a 16 second hole and it went down. It's going to shoot back up here. Yeah, there's not that many AI going. Wow, they really crashed each other out here. Dude, check out the interior on these. This is pretty awesome. It's like you're playing Extreme American Truck Simulator right now. Hold on, look over. Yeah, I think we're clear. Oh, uh, here we go. Through the loop in first person. Oh, that is very, very awesome. I feel like they've added grip to that loop, though. Because, I mean, this truck's heavy, and I wasn't really going... Oh, there goes my hood or cover there. Yeah, I wasn't really going that fast. So I might call shenanigans. I want to kind of go slow on that in a different car, because I feel like they've added grip there, because the other loops in the uh, modded tracks, you had to go a certain uh, speed to be able to get through those. And that felt fairly easy. All right, let's uh, go ahead and let's try to get a normal car. Let's go with the Venom real quick. We're going to run a shorter race, and I just want to see if the AI will take that loop. All right, here we are. We have the Venom. We're going to run a very short race, three laps. I want to see how this Venom handles. Oh, dude, it's got some really good acceleration. I kind of want to just upgrade this thing. All right, let's see. Now, one thing I'm noticing, it seems like the handling has changed in the game a bit. The cars don't seem to be as drift happy. They actually are a little tight, and when I say tight, they're understeer. They don't quite turn as good as they used to. At least it feels like that. And oh look, somebody's actually taking the loop. Oh, yes. I got really afraid that the AI didn't like the loop. I was like, what's the point of the loop? The AI is not going to take it. There we go. That makes this track a whole lot better. Now, I'm debating. I don't know if I like this track more than I like Bone Breaker Valley. Uh oh. Okay. You know, it still creates quite a bit of chaos. But there's something about, uh, I think it's Bonebreaker Valley, where they turn, like, half the cars around, or you start kind of going at each other. That is still probably one of the ultimate destructive tracks. But this is still pretty cool, though. All right, I gotta admit, this Venom, the handling... I mean, the acceleration's really good, but to me, the handling with this thing is... It's just spot on. Like, this might literally be the best car in the game. I mean, besides driving around a big rig, and why is this guy going backwards? Uh, I think he's trying to go around. Oh, jeez, watch out, dude. <laughs> but yeah, this thing, the way it handles, uh, you can manage to get this one a little bit sideways, but it never feels like it actually wants to spin out. Like, it's almost perfect. Uh, I can see why this is the last car you unlock here. Uh, we're going to finish up this race real quick. We're going to go check out the other track and maybe do some sofa action. That sounds really weird. Maybe I shouldn't say that. We're, we're going to race sofas and do that. Um, they're jumping over us. You know what? We're going to go take not the shortcut this time. Let's go this way. It's kind of cool. It feels like a joker lap in a rally cross, which is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Komodo's got a big lead here. Three seconds. Going to cross the line. There we go. That is a very awesome car. All right. Here we are at the Dirt Devil Stadium with couches. And Oh, look at this. you got leopard print ones. All right. That's something. Okay, so, oh, wait, what the heck? These actually accelerate pretty good. So, the character doesn't really move his arms. That's a little disappointing. Oh, no. Oh, there's couches flying through the air. Okay. You know what? All is forgiven about the uh, the whole fact that the character's uh, arms don't move at the steering wheel, which looks a little weird, but this is awesome. We have couches. Do they do this in real life? Like, I know there's motorized couches. I I've been to a NASCAR race, and I've seen many of them. But I'm kind of curious, like, do they actually race these? I know they race lawnmowers. Like, why not race these in uh-oh? Uh-oh. No, no. Okay, it's not quite as... Never mind. I was going to say it's not quite as fidgety as the uh, the tractor or the lawnmower where you would uh, fall over and your character would instantly pop up. 
or pop out. Yeah, okay, let's give that another go here. The track itself, though, I like the track. It's a two-lane triangle. Uh, actually, it looks like it maybe forms in a one lane behind us, but I like this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a motocross track where you have the, a lot of times you'll have like two different lanes, uh, different uh, jump sections, but of course we're doing this with uh, couches, so this is really, really odd. We, we totally have to do a couch derby eventually. <laughs> I can't even go straight. Okay, wait. Did that couch just reset? Okay, I'm running over people. <laughs> I think the only thing you have to do is survive the first couple of corners. No, okay, I almost flipped over again. Okay. All right, we're good. Dude, this track, though. I like this track a whole lot. There's also something on the inside, which I know is the derby area. Are you serious? Okay, that's fine. I'll just pop him out. But is there another... Like, I feel like there should be another configuration. Maybe it just looks like a freestyle area. Now, one thing I'm really surprised about Wreckfest, and if you guys had to choose a car that's not in the game that should be in the game, what would it be? For me, it would be a monster truck. Like, how ridiculous everything is in this game, and we do have big vehicles. Why do we not have a monster truck yet? And I think that's the leader flipping on the side there. Okay, you know what? Just take, take your time over here. This is fine. Uh, just uh, ease over these. I don't think we're doing five laps here, but... Yeah, we'll just go until we lap the field. But yeah, I'm really surprised. And not to say that it isn't going to happen maybe in one of the DLC packs later on, but why do we not have a monster truck? Or, oh, okay, just spun around. Maybe I'm yapping too much here. But yeah, monster truck, let's make it happen. You know, I kind of want to do these on, like, one of the big ovals. Like, we could have NASCAR couch races. That would be cool. Or go to Talladega or something. <laughs> be wide open running around in a pack with couches. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, watch out. Be careful. There's still people going. Never mind. I don't think anybody's going anymore. I was watching second place, and they're about eight seconds behind. Oh, no, they're still gaining. They're still running. Okay, well, watch out for them. Uh, I need to get myself out of this predicament. Oh, there we go. All right. All right let's keep moving. Ooh, going all out here. Launch it. Don't flip. Don't flip. Okay, keep it up. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Oh, this is so awesome. All right, second place is DNF'd. I'm pretty sure we've already lapped sec... Oh, wait, where is second place? We've lapped, I think, second. Let's see, they're about a second, or actually they're a minute behind. Uh, our laps are under a minute, so we had to have lapped. Oh, there it goes. So the whole field has DNF'd. I was pretty sure they weren't going to make it through this. All right, well, the couches are pretty awesome. They're a little better than I expected. Like, they have a pretty good amount of acceleration... Uh, they handle fairly decent for a couch, I must say. I think there's some, uh, definitely some vehicles that handle a lot worse than these. So, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the couch, but we're going to count that as a win, though. All right, we're going to do one more race here at this same track, and then we're going to go do a derby in the inner part of this. And that should cover a lot of the update. So, yeah, we're racing motorhomes. There's actually a surprising amount of, uh, paint schemes for these. Uh, I wonder what an upgraded motorhome's like. <laughs> Uh, here we go. <laughs> this is just pure chaos. Uh, this is why I love Wreckfest. I'm also really happy that the uh, the console players can finally play this game. Uh, definitely, there's been a it's been a long road. I, I'm trying to think of how long we've been covering the game. Probably for about a year and a half to two years now. But I know the game's been in development a lot longer than that, and it's kind of gone through several different phases. But yeah, it's uh, super happy to see them release this on console now. Plus, it means we get more content. And then I'm actually pretty happy. You know, a lot of people don't like the season pass stuff, but I'm actually okay with the season pass because I've gotten plenty of hours out of this game. I don't mind paying a little bit and maybe getting some extra cars, accessories, and maybe even potentially tracks. I don't know if they're planning on doing any more tracks, but uh, that would be cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Sixth place here. Okay. Get over the bumps. I'm trying to figure out which lane I like better. I think I like the inner lane on this side. And then I even... I think on the other side, I like the inner lane because it's got a jump. So, yeah, it's got this big jump. If not, you got to take this really, really nasty chicane. And, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think the chicane's going to work really well with the motorhome. Oh, we're going to have to take it anyways. We do not have enough speed for that jump. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at all the panels that come off the side of this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, the destruction on these is actually fairly decent. It doesn't feel quite as, like, soft as a lot of the other cars do where you basically can get them down to where they're like little driving sleds or something. But, I mean, the damage on this one is actually fairly decent. Man, if only we can get like full-blown beam and G damage. Now that would be something. 
Alright, can confirm. Looks like the hole where the jump is. Yeah, this is kind of filling up, isn't it, a little bit, boys? Ooh, boy. Okay. Go this way. <laughs> We're good. Uh, let's see. Ooh, you know what? I'd like to see a variation of this track. They need to send half the field backwards. Like, I don't understand. Why don't we have a race? I know we have tracks that do that. But we need to have a race, uh, since it's it's still equal distance. Like, why don't we have one where half the field goes backwards? That would be uh, something that's pretty amazing. Hold on, we're going to try this right side real quick. You know, maybe the right side is a little bit better in the RV. I was saying the left side was better, but that was actually felt a little bit smoother. Especially the transitions to the jumps. All right, here we go. We're going to jump the track here. Uh... <laughs> yes! No! No! Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, reset. I didn't want to reset. Like, I wanted to see the one car jump over me or the one, uh, motor home. Oh, boy. Okay, we're good. All right, we're on the final lap here. Oh, really? I just got passed? No, 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 no. I'm actually surprisingly, like, I, I kind of pride myself on being fast in most things in Wreckfest, but I'm actually not that fast in these for some reason. Uh, we're going straight this time. <laughs> Oh, that is such a rough transition there. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. We're going to lose more places. Okay, that was a dingus move. I shouldn't have went up that bump. I should have taken the uh, the chicane over to the side. Hold on. Is this... Okay, I don't think this is for position. Uh, here we go to the finish. Oh, boy. Oop. Okay, there's cars bouncing. Hold on. Can we get a place here? Oh, we got a position right there at the end. Oh, that was awesome. All right. So we have one more thing to try out here. We're going to take the limos to the demo derby in the middle. All right, so here we go. We're taking a limo to the demolition derby. Now, surprisingly, I didn't see a limo set. Either I'm blind and I just I completely passed it up, or I'm actually surprised. Like, there's a special set for everything, but I didn't see one for limos. Maybe this really isn't considered a special car. Yeah, I don't see any limos here with me. Oh, we just hit a couch. We just hit a couch and holy man. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have a whole lot of issues with all these uh, these harvesters and stuff. Dude, check this out. This is a cool, like, little playground. Oh, and those, uh, what are those little circle things? Hold on, it's running some cars here. <laughs> of course, uh, oh, and there's a lawnmower. Hit him. <laughs> Look at him. He's a little champion. Oh, he's about to be dead. Oh, I'm pretty sure he just got smushed by a bus. Yep, no, there's a lawnmower still out there. How are they still going? Uh, I'm trying to catch the lawnmower. That's the one I want to hit. Hello, rubber duck. Are you serious? Oh, I'm getting chased down here. Yeah, man, they totally could have made another track in here. It feels like there should be a figure eight in here. Like, I'm really surprised they didn't utilize this with more variations as far as tracks. Okay, let's hit somebody. Oh, I think our lawnmower buddy might have died. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, hon, we can tip him over. There we go. Oh, boy. So, this is a fairly big arena, so it doesn't feel like the uh, the demo derby is quite as hectic. There's a lot more jumps in this one, though, so you do have a lot of moments where stuff's flying over you. And Uh-oh. I should not have gone up against this bus here. Come on, bus. You tip you over, buddy. School's out. There we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, let's try not to get hit by a harvester. Uh, let's see. There's a double-decker there. Oh, let's see if we can punch him. Nope. Can't get to him. Come on. Wait, one of them just reset over there. All right, let's get this buddy. <laughs> oh, we send him flipping. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I would hate to be in those double-deckers right now <laughs> because they tip over so easy. Oh, boy. Well, there we go. Run through these. Hit this car here. Ah, this is feeling awesome. All right. Oh, no, we just got crushed by a harvester. Uh, you know, we surprisingly, for a derby, we don't have that much damage on this thing. Like, this thing really should just be completely destroyed. Oh, let's hop and hit General Lee. Okay, come on. Push him over. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm high-centered. Oh, this is the disadvantage of having a limo. Okay, on. Uh, don't want to reset? No, I'm not resetting. Uh, okay. I'll reset if I flip. I really just drove right back into that, didn't I? Oh, this is insane. Okay, everybody's clustered up. Hold on. Can I get a takedown of some sorts here? Yeah, that's a bad thing. Oh, there we go. Well, that was wrecked. Does that count as a... I guess that is a takedown. Wait, I thought it was always called takedown. Maybe it was called wrecked. I don't know. I might be able to wreck a harvester. Ooh, his life's down a lot. Let's do a little circle here. Uh, we're going to come back. Oh, here comes a bus. Oh, I know that's a motorhome. Okay, there's a harvester right there. Mad monster. He's almost gone. Let's take out a harvester with the limo. 
Yes! Alright, so we got him. Okay, look around. Oh boy. Okay, let's get moving again. Uh, let's take out... Oh, no, I can't take that one out. Let's try to take one of these out. Alright, they have a cluster of... Wait, what's going on here? I feel like I'm getting smushed. Can I back out of this, please? Uh, I can't see. Uh, I'm getting slowly sandwiched between buses and everything else. Come on, back out, back out. Mm, there we go. Alright, hit this car, or hit that bus there. The bus is almost dead. Alright, let's go get some speed real quick. Ooh, I'm only at 28% health. I need to watch out here. Uh, let's use the banking. Ooh, this could have been a track, too. I don't know. This banking feels like it's a little too extreme. All right, let's go see if we can find somebody. We're going to come around. Got a lot of speed built up here. Need to hit something. Uh, uh, come on. No, 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 no. That's what I want to hit. That's my target right there. Uh, are you serious? No. All right. Come on, nerd hammer. Come on, go that way. There we go. Perfect opportunity. Come on. Come on. Take him down. Ah. Uh, come on, grind against him. No, somebody else is going to get the takedown here. Look. Oh, no. Not yet. Uh, yes, we got him. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's four wrecked in the limo. Uh, five opponents left. Okay, let's see. They're over here. Has that mini-map always been there? I don't know. It probably has been. Uh, it's weird when you see an update for a game, you start noticing stuff that might have already been there, but you're like, hey, that's a new thing. And really, it's not. Uh, but maybe that is new. I don't know. All right, let's keep moving here. I still have 25% health. I feel like I've got the most health out of everybody right now. Punt this one. Okay, almost done. I think we're going to win this, folks. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, watch out. Okay, we're turning around. Got a harvester to our inside. What is over here? I think it's a bus. Okay, there's a bus over here. Come on. I feel like I'm making big loops. Okay, come on. Punt the bus. Punt it. Ah, yes, T-Bone. Come on. Get the wreck. Uh-oh. Uh, the harvester's going to turn around here. Okay. Nope. Still nothing. Well, another hit here. Boom! That was a spin out. Ah, he still isn't wrecked. Oh, I think... Uh oh the harvester just took him out. Alright, let's get moving. Uh, let's run away from the harvester for a second, and we can get a big run on him and go fast and just nail him. Hopefully take him out here. Where's he at? Oh! Oh, he got a good hit there. Okay, we need to be the aggressor. There we go! Yes! That is a win. Uh, we finished in one point. What does that mean? That was first. Okay. Oh, boy, that was awesome. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Wreckfest. Let me know what you guys think about the update here, what you want to see next. Uh, hopefully, like I said, we'll get some multiplayer in, and then I think we're going to play with some of the mods again here in Wreckfest. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.